Welcome to week number three. And week number three, we're on the opposite side of the lake. And truly, we actually are. I don't need to prove it. I'm actually walking the dog as I'm doing all of these intros today. So she's getting a great walk. And hopefully you're enjoying the park at the same time because we're going into some scary sections now. We are on the opposite side of, and we have to follow the path. Now on the path here is that we really have to watch and we need to find the roadmap for this particular park because sometimes you turn the work at the end and sometimes you don't. And the reason for that is that the particular project that we're doing, when we did diamonds, we were doing in the circles, right? But we actually had to turn and go backwards in the circle, I think twice in the particular project. So what we have to do is that we have to mimic the half triangle so that we are doing that but also start on the right side so you can have to look at your roadmap once in a while because this path could be a heel turner if you're not getting it right so i wouldn't panic let's just head on into the studio and let's get started right now and puppy dog she's already walked on see she's already getting her stitch along done <laughs> welcome back from the park and we're moving on to week number three as we do the triangles together. We're gonna do the complete triangle together on camera today and I'm also gonna ask you to sew it into your project. So I wanna tell you about the sewing of this first just in case you don't need to see the rest of this tutorial. I wanna tell you about that before we begin. As we zoomed out here, what I wanna tell you is that when you go to do this particular sewing, I want you to start at the middle of the triangle here and attach it to the edge going all the way out to the outside of this. Then attach a new yarn and then go from the uh, middle all the way to the other side. The reason for that is that if you, I figured that if you started from the edge and you were misaligned in any way, it'll misalign here in the middle. So if there's a stitch that's out of sync or you skip something, then this triangle will not match. So if you match the middle to the middle and work your way outward, it will match even better. The other thing that you will wanna do, I've only did one here so far, but the other thing that you will wanna do is that once this comes together and I put the other one, I wanna make sure that I attach the two with a whip stitch together. So as I'm coming up, I wanna grab right into the same stitch where this other one is so that it will create that corner. I determined that if you did not wanna attach those together, it's gonna create a space right here and when you do the final as you're coming around for the border that will be in next week, you'll see that gapping space. So make sure that when you're doing this, you go from the center out and the center out so you have to do two strands and when you're adding extra, make sure that you do attach so that it's attaching to the triangles itself to bring that all together. So let's move on and we're gonna move to the diagram next to begin. So here's the diagram. We're gonna get ourselves started and we're going to create this back and forth. What I want you to pay attention to is eight and nine. See how the um, chains are on the same side? That's not a mistake. The reason for this is that I wanted the rest of this to be in sync and if I would have went and kept doing it row by row by row where I turn that third to the end, this all section would be, that'd be backwards and, and all the fun stuff would be on the wrong side of the, of the triangle. So as we're working today, you're gonna pay attention to that the most. So after you get the tulip stitch, just make sure that the, the next one is going to be done and I will be doing that. The ones that are circled, don't worry about it. We're doing some editing at the time of the filming of this and that's something that we can work through. So using your colors that is going to be suggested. So we're gonna continue with the color H as we begin our beginning and we're going to do this. So the entire triangle will now be filmed from this point. So now that you've already done the diamonds, assuming that you have, um, this basically is the same thing. It's just a half a, a diamond. So we're going to begin with the color H and you're going to create a slip knot and use the same size hook that you were using with the diamonds. In my case it's a five millimeter and the pattern was five and a half millimeter. So what we have is that we're going to chain four. So one, two, three and four and slip stitch then into the beginning chain to form the center ring and make sure that when you go around on the first one you wanna trap that underneath and we wanna hide as much yarn as we can so that we have less ends to deal with. Let's begin round number one or row number one. So let's begin row number one. Rows one through five are all gonna be the same color but of course you can use your own creativity and change color as often or as little as you wish. We're going to chain four which will count as the first treble and in the center of the ring, I need you to treble again. So wrap that hook twice and in the center, keeping that straggler so that it gets stuck inside of the ring. 
I then need you to do a double crochet and then a half and then a single crochet is going to be the point of the triangle and then we're gonna get bigger again. So we're gonna start with a half and then a double and then two trebles and that will be row number one. So this will look like half of the oval shape that you did when you were doing the diamond. And then after that you're ready to turn your work and let's begin row number two. So in row number two we're gonna start and we're going to do lots of stuff in the very beginning stitch. So the very first one there's gonna be four stitches applied to that. So you're gonna start off with a chain four which is your treble. So one, two, three and four and then in the same stitch you wanna apply another treble and then in the same stitch two more trebles or two more double crochets sorry. So two double crochet. Now if you remember that when we did the diamonds we was always like almost three stitches. Here because it's a, uh, a triangle there's always an extra stitch so that's why there's two trebles and then we have our two doubles. So in the diamond it would have been a treble and then two doubles. So hopefully that if that helps you to know I'm not sure. So now the next three in a row are each a double crochet. So we have one, two and three and the next one should be the single crochet which I can see that it is and that will be your midpoint. So that is your double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the same stitch and there is your official corner of your triangle the top peak. So coming down the other side the next three in a row will each be one double crochet and that will take you to the last turning chain and in that last turning chain right here go right into the chain work itself and apply two double crochets first. So we have one and two and then two trebles. So we have one and two and that will conclude row number two. So turn your work and let's begin row number three. So row number three we're gonna start in row chain four so that's your first treble. So one, two, three and four and in the same stitch I need you to apply another treble and then two more double crochet. Now we're gonna be doing skipping some stitches now. So we're gonna chain one, we'll skip the next stitch and go to the one after that and double crochet and we're gonna do that all the way to the peak which will be the midpoint. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next and keep doing that to the midpoint. and chain one. So you should have the next stitch to jump over and you're gonna end up in the midpoint which is correct. So then you will double crochet right into the chain one space of the midpoint, chain one and double crochet back in and then start moving down the other side of doing the same stitch work. So chain one, skip the first one out, go to the second and double crochet and do this all the way to the end. and then chain one and skipping one so which will take you to the turning chain as the last one. So in the turning chain please apply two double crochet. So one, two and then two trebles. And then we're gonna turn our work that was row number three. So let's begin number four. Row number four we're gonna start with a chain four so one two, three and, and four will be next and treble into the same beginning stitch and add two more double crochet there as well. It's a nice simple row here number four. You're going to apply one double crochet in each of the stitches and each of the chain one spaces all the way to the midpoint. 
So just keep double crocheting into each stitch and midpoint or uh, each uh, stitch and chain one space. So there's a chain one so go right into the space that holds that nice and open and then next is the double and I'll meet you at the midpoint in a second and I'm currently now at the midpoint. So I'm seeing where they share the same stitch underneath. So this is the midpoint so you will treat it the same way. So a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet in the midpoint and then coming down the other side. So it's one double crochet in each stitch and chain one space. And then the last turning chain coming up it'll be like what you already know. So it'll be a double crochet for two times in a row. So one and two and then two trebles. And turn your work and do row number five. So row number five we're going to do those faux popcorn like we've done before in the diamonds. So this time when you go to start up you're only gonna chain three. That's your first double crochet and I need you to double crochet again into the same spot and then two half double crochets into the same spot. And then we're going to begin our full popcorn concept. So as we do this the first one out is going to be a treble and then the next one is a single and you're gonna keep alternating between the two stitches all the way to the midpoint. So I'll just be quiet as I do it. So it's gonna be a treble and then a single. So please do this to, to the midpoint. If your math is right on this row the very last one before the midpoint is going to be a treble. So I'm just alternating between the two but the last one should be a treble before you're going into this one. And on this one here the very um, the midpoint it's going to be a single crochet, chain one and a single crochet. And now you're gonna restart doing the same concept going down the other side. So start with a treble first in the first one and then a single into the next and alternate between the two. So let's talk at the end of this row. Okay so the second last one should be a treble and that's just the stitch work working itself out. And in the very last one here you, in the turning chain you will apply two half double crochets first and then two double crochets. And this will be the end of this color. So we're just going to just put it down and you'll see the full popcorn is, is now popping out. And so you will want to and I'm only gonna show it once here but you'll wanna hide in the yarn tails as you go. It'll just make your life a lot easier and it saves you from having um, a triangle with all these tails hanging out at the end. So put it through and just put it on the other side, keep it in the same color. So if you were um, hiding this at the end, make sure that you do keep your tails all within the same color sequence so it's not so obvious. And just go back and forth a total of three times. And you'll wanna do that with any tails that you'll have on this project including the beginning and ending. Okay, so let's start row number six with a brand new color and the color is going to be A as an apple. Let's start row number six. So it's gonna be on the right side. Make sure that's facing up. You would have turned it anyway and you'll see the full popcorn is popping out towards you. So that tells you you're on the right side as well. So start in the very beginning one. So this is the top of the, the last stitch and just join it. And this is row number six. So there's sli slightly something different here. So I need you to chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four and five. I need you to double treble into this one. So wrap the hook three times. Okay. And then I need you to do a, a treble. So wrap twice. There's five stitches going in this one for balance and then apply two to uh, uh, two double crochets. Sorry. So in video one remember there was an outtake. This is what I should have did in that one corner. 
Now each and if you put this uh, over top and just hide it underneath you won't have to sew that in later. So each stitch now all the way to the midpoint is going to get a double crochet. And just keep everything in sequence. So just watch these faux popcorns that you don't um, miss a stitch. And once you get started it's easy to tell. So double crochet right to the midpoint and I'll see you there in a moment. So you don't hear me counting because I'm not but what I am paying attention to is where the midpoint is going to show up. And remember the midpoint on the one below was one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So the single crochet is the last stitch. So right here where I'm pointing with my thumb that's gonna be your midpoint. So you're just gonna go right in there. So it'll be a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And then starting in the first single crochet out from there just double crochet yourself all the way to the end. And I'll see you at the end in just a moment. Remember it's special so I'll, I'll see you there in a second. So I wanna get right to the very last turning chain which is next and there's gonna be five stitches in there. So there'll be two double crochet first. So we have one and two and then a treble. So wrap the hook twice and then two double trebles. So wrap the hook three times for each of those. And there's two of those. This is going to be the end of this color when we get the last double treble in. So I want you to fasten off, hide in your ends and then meet me back here in just a moment. And with the brand new color and the color that is being shown is color F as in Frank. And let's begin that next. So I just finished row number six. So turn your work and we'll begin row number seven. So the faux popcorn should be away from you facing down and we're going to begin the next color which is the stem of the tulips. And we're going to begin on the corner. So in the top of the last double treble that you had. So you're gonna start there and we are going to begin. So we're gonna chain, uh, attach it and then chain four. So one, two, three and four and in the same stitch I need you to apply one uh, treble. So wrap the hook twice. But we're not done. We're going to chain two and then one double crochet into the same one. And that's what it's gonna look like. So I need you to move across the row. So the next stitch is where you're, where you're gonna play in next. Uh, for this one because we're still on a corner technically. So you're gonna double crochet and chain two and double crochet. And then we're gonna begin sk a skipping stitches. So the corner is technically complete. So skipping two stitches do your V stitch which will be skipping two. So double crochet, chain two and double crochet. And we wanna do this all the way to the midpoint. So skipping two, double crochet into the next chain two and double crochet into the same. So let's do that all the way to the midpoint. So I'm really looking for that midway point which is right here and you'll notice that I get to skip two and that takes me right to the midpoint. So I'm, I know that I'm correct. So I'm just gonna go right to the midpoint and double crochet, chain one and double crochet and then start down the other side. So just skip the first two out and go to the third, double crochet, chain two and double crochet. So you'll wanna do this all the way to the point and I'll see you there in just a few moments as we recap on how to do it. So skipping two I'm gonna come into the second last stitch and I'll do my V stitch so a double crochet, chain two and a double crochet. And then we still have the last turning chain to work with. So I'm going to double crochet into that turning chain, chain two and then I wanna treble into that turning chain and then add one more treble after that to have the balance and that's the end of this color. And that was row number seven. So let's continue and turn our work and begin row number eight with a new color and in row number eight it is the color C as in kitty cat or cat. <laughs> kitty I guess is K. So C as in cat. <laughs> okay let's begin row number eight. It is the tulip stitch again 
and we're gonna start on the top and we're looking at the good side so the faux popcorn is facing towards us and start at the top of the last treble and just attach it and then chain four which will count as your first treble. In the same stitch just treble again and then two double crochet. So you'll notice that the points are now gonna be consistent from this point so you don't have that one of five like we had before. You won't see that again. So now chain one and separate the first two, the chain two that you have that is going to be your first tulip stitch. So just to recap that there's five double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four and five. Take the hook out, go to the first and pull that around and then chain one to finish it to close it. Once you have that done chain two to jump to the next one. So look for the next chain two space and popcorn in. So we have one, two, three, four and five. Let it go, go to the first, collect it, chain one to lock it. So close it and then chain two to move on. So I'm gonna meet you just near the midpoint. So just continue to do your tulip stitch. So remember the chain one was only just coming out to the, do the first one but we will see that chain one again in the future uh, as we get close to the midpoint just like you did on the diamond. So please popcorn all your way as close to the midpoint and then continue to play me from there. So as you're approaching the midpoint which is here so just kind of follow it up you can see it. So I've done the last popcorn I chained one to lock it so to close it chain only one like you had been chaining two before but it's only chain one this time and I need you to go into the next double crochet that is part of the, the midpoint here. So go into the double crochet there and double crochet and then go into the midpoint. So make the midpoint. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then to start the next side go into this double crochet and then start your tulip stitch again. So chain one to start only on that time and then go and do your tulip so it's five double crochets. So wait one, two, three, four and five. Drop it and pick it back up. Chain one to close it and then chain two to move on and do the next one. So I'll see you close to the next point in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way to the other side here. So I have my last popcorn. I've already done my chain one to lock it. So only chain one after it and then come into the very last um, chain here, the last turning chain. And in that one there you will apply two double crochet. So one, two, three, and two and then two trebles. And what I need you to watch for next is that the next row when we go to start it's not starting on this side that I'm finishing. I'm, I have to go back to the other side to start the next row. So get rid of this color and meet me back here in just a moment. So if we start row number nine we have to have the right side facing up. So when we finished row number eight we finished over here. But I need to go back to the beginning of number eight the side there and that's where we're gonna start up. So I wanted to attach the first one to the top of the beginning chain and that's where we're gonna start our journey for row number nine. So row number nine we're gonna attach and then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then treble into the same stitch and then two double crochet. So row number nine is a nice easy one. So you're gonna double crochet in each of the stitches going across and if there is a chain space then mount of double, cro or double crochets that go into the space matches the count of the chain. So for example when we come to the first one we know that this is a, just a chain one. So that's gonna be a chain one and then come into the top of the popcorn and then we knew that there was chain twos that separate these popcorns in this midsection. So there will be two 
double crochets into those. So one double crochet in the popcorn and then two double crochet in the next chain two space. I'll see you close to the midpoint in just a moment. So as we come up to the midpoint I've just of the popcorn before the midpoint. Remember that there was only a chain one that separates this one. So just make sure there's only one double crochet there and then there's a double crochet in each of the doubles and then we're looking for the midpoint which is next. So the midpoint is double crochet chain one, one double crochet. So starting down the other side just what you already know. So one double crochet in each of the stitches and spaces. Okay so this is a chain one space so make that only one double crochet and then there's one in the popcorn and then we know that the chain two spaces are considered two stitches. So just right in the space put two double crochets in a row and do this all the way to the other side and I'll see you there in just a moment. So in the last stitch it's going to be two double crochet first. So one and two and then two trebles. So get rid of this color. We are now going back and forth like we had been before. It was just that one time we had to start on the same side and get rid of this color and we'll start with row number um, 10 in just a moment. So we're gonna start row number 10 we finished here so we turned our work and we're on the back side of the project if that helps you to know that. And we're gonna be creating these spaces like we did here. There's only sl something slightly different in the middle here but we'll get there in a moment. So attach to the very first one. And you're going to chain your four. So we have one, two, three, four double or sorry treble crochet into the first one and then one treble or two tr double crochets in the next or then two double crochet into the same first stitch. So now we're ready to start skipping stitches. So chain one, skip the next stitch out and go to the second over and double crochet and you're gonna do this all the way to the midpoint. There's something slightly different at the midpoint but I'll get there and, and I'll show you. So skip one, chain, so make sure you chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next and please do this close to the midpoint and I'll see you there in a moment. In row number 10 you skip one and you're coming close to the midpoint. You're gonna end up coming to the one just before the midpoint. So make sure you chain one before you did that and come into the one just before and then come right into the midpoint. So don't chain one after that first one that goes in. Chain one now and double crochet and start by double crocheting in the first one and then begin skipping. So it's slightly different than it was before. It's just a matter of stitch counts. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next and please do this all the way to the corner point and I'll see you that uh, back there in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way to the end, chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next and then at the very end of this you'll chain one, skip one and that'll take you right to the turning chain. So in that last chain you're going to apply two double crochet. So one and two and then two trebles. You're gonna keep this color going for one more time. So I want you to keep it on and of course if you wanna change color you can but in the meantime for you, if you wanna keep it going, make it easier for yourself. Keep this color going and let's begin row number 11. Row number 11 right where you're sitting you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four and a treble into the same stitch and then two double crochet. Now every stitch and chain one space is going to get a double crochet so that's nice and easy. So just apply that. You've already done this in the past so I don't have to really hammer down on it too hard. So just make sure that every space and stitch gets a double crochet and I'll see you at the midpoint in just a moment. Okay I'm coming close to the midpoint here and just one double crochet in each and then the midpoint the chain one space is going to be a double crochet chain one, one double crochet and then carry on. So starting in the first stitch and chain one spaces please make sure there's a double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this row in a moment. So I'm coming up to the end of the row and just double crocheting in each except for that very last one 
I bet you know what to do by now. And if you said it's two double crochet and two treble you're right on the money. We're gonna get rid of this color in just a moment and then we're going to begin row number 12. So there's only two rows left to go and let's get rid of this color and let's go back to the next color which in my case will be white. So let me just take a look at what number that is. So that is It's going to be the color E as an elephant. In my case it's going to be white. So let's meet back in a second and let's begin next row. Let's begin row number 12. Make sure that the project is facing away from you so the tulips are underneath. Okay, make sure you work in the back side for this one to work. And if you're following it going back and forth that it's also gonna end up on the back side anyway. So you're gonna just attach and chain three. So one, two, three and then double crochet yourself into the same project or same stitch and then two half double crochet. And now we're going to start our journey. So the very next stitch that you're going to go into will be a treble and so you're gonna alternate between trebles and singles like you had been before. Now it's gonna be slightly different at the midpoint and when I get there I'll show you what the difference is. So just keep alternating between singles and trebles as you make your way to the midpoint and I'll see you there in a moment. As you came all the way to the midpoint the last stitch before the midpoint should be a single crochet and then you were going to single crochet in the midpoint, chain one and single crochet. Before when this happened is that if you recall the last stitch before the midpoint is a treble so that's the only difference that you're seeing. So when you start the next side here just single crochet first and then begin your treble and then your single alternating all the way to the other side. I'll see you at the end of this row in just a moment. As you're coming up to the end of the row the second last stitch if you're keeping the right counts of alternating will be a treble and in the turning chain it'll start off with two half double crochets. So we have one and two and then moving to two double crochets after that. So one and two. So we've got one more row left. We're gonna get rid of this color, turn it around so that the front or the right side is facing up and also what I want you to do is make sure that color, it's color B as in Bob but it will be the same color as the last round of your diamonds just in case you're alternating. It'll make the seam lines look pretty seamless. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, begin to do that in just a moment. Moving to the final round, lucky number 13. So let's start with our color and do our final one. So the good side should be facing up. Your tulip stitches, your faux popcorns should be jumping towards you and we're going to attach. So the corner is slightly different than what we have been doing. So you're just gonna join and chain four. So one, two, three, four and then two double crochets only in that same spot. So you see that was different than before and, and I wanted that because the counts have to be balanced with each other. So continuing along I need you to place in one uh, dub uh, double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. Midpoint is what you already know but I'll, I'll see you there anyway and so just keep on going across with one double crochet in each stitch and I'll see you there in a moment. So continuing all the way across and you're coming to the midpoint in a second. It's just a chain one space. It's kind of jammed in between two single crochets so don't forget that that's there. And so double crochet, chain one and double crochet and then continuing along down this side and I'll see you at the end of this row in a moment. So as you come to the very end, the very last stitch is slightly different than what we have been doing. So you're just going to in the very last uh, turning chain there apply two double crochets first and then finish it off with just one and one only of the treble and that will conclude doing this motif. So you're gonna get rid of this color and we're gonna talk about putting it together because we've done that before already in week number two. It's the same process. I'll just walk you through it uh, verbally and then you can do that on your own. So at this point we wanna put it together so you'll put your triangles in the spaces. There's a total of six triangles. I would probably recommend maybe do all your triangles at the same time and then uh, puzzle it in or you can do one, one and puzzle it in as you go. 
If it's not sitting completely flat then all you just need to do is dampen it a little bit, leave it on a flat surface and it should actually be shaping properly. It does shape for me. It's not something that I had to really fight with. So um, I felt really quite confident in that. So you can damp a cloth and leave to dry. So now when you do this you gotta make sure that the right sides are facing up. So let's just uh, put this with my, with my other piece just to show you. So here we go. So I just have this laid out. My table is not very big but I wanna make sure that the right sides are facing up so I can see the tulip stitches and I wanna match the chain one to the very corner of this and I want to use the same technique of attaching this yarn like I showed you in week number two and just following along the back loops and take it all the way to the very edge. So the stitches will match each other and as I mentioned at the start of today's tutorial so it may, you may have to pull on it to get all the stitches to match but as I mentioned what I would do at the end of this is on the very last one make sure that you attach it to the very uh, to this one that you attached it therefore it'll keep it nice and closed and when we get to that spot in the next uh, part of this tutorial you'll see that everything will work out quite nicely. So once you go one side then just start a new strand and go to the other side and go along and if there's nothing to attach to as far as like a neighbor that's already in just attach it to the end and then the next um, triangle can then secure it there as well. So you just wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that. So let me just rotate it around and it will puzzle together nicely and you'll see the final revolution that we're going to apply then in next week you'll see that everything will stabilize on its own and it actually looks pretty cool. So this is for week number three. So to go back to week number two if you just have to have a lesson on how to join once again and I will see you back here and we're gonna begin the fun stuff and let's go back to the park now and let's read. So hopefully you're doing a great job on this particular point. We actually have our half triangles done. I know. So why don't we go and meet at the refreshment stand, have a big ice cream or something and then we'll get ready for week number four because week number four we're going to have some hop skipping and jumping to doing and we're going to be riding the carousel Whee! as we start week number four next time. So please join me and don't be scared to share your work in progress with us on our communities. It is the hashtag Yarnspirations and hashtag the crochet crowd. This is the summer stitch along the study of geometry. Have a good one. We hope to see you again soon.